You're watching Hurley Films. How's it going, everybody? I hope you got a chance to uh, watch the move-in day video. If you haven't already, uh, I'll leave a card to it right up here in the top right-hand corner so you can go check it out before you get into this one because we've moved in and I'm just, at this point, trying to get the office in shape so I can work. So here's the deal. If you are doing baseboards, specifically if you're remodeling and you're taking out baseboards, You've got to be smart when you do it. So for example, you wouldn't want to put your pry bar or whatever tool you're using to pull them off the wall in a space between two studs. Because once you begin to pry, guess what happens? That's going through your sheetrock. <laughs> and all of these things, I'm telling you, I've learned from experience <laughs> from remodeling two houses and selling them and building this one. You learn a lot. So, also, when in doubt, if you have a spot with a nail, because usually what happens is some nails will go with the baseboard, some nails will stay in the wall, they'll inevitably just pull through the wood because the wood just lets go. Especially if you're not using a hardwood, if you're using a pine or a cedar or something, the majority of your nails, if you, if you actually hit them into studs, they're going to stay in the studs and just pull through the wood because it's so soft. When in doubt, it's always easy just to hammer, just nail the nail in, just knock it in. It's not going to do anything but hold the drywall there better. It wouldn't do much, but it's something. But it gets it out of the way and you're not having to deal with the sheetrock. The third thing, the most important one, is always remember you are about to cover up everything that you're removing. So on this instance, I'm taking out one by six boards and I'm gonna be putting one by six boards back down. Now, if I was to pry above, so say this was the baseboard and this is the wall. If I was to pry like this, anything above that baseboard is subject to damage. Either a dent from the pry bar, anything. But if I was to stick my pry bar end down this way and pry off, you notice that the fulcrum is now down here. And sometimes you can't get away with it. Sometimes you have to take the chance and take the risk and there's going to probably be some paint touch up that you have to do. But you can mitigate quite a bit of it by just doing simple things like this. Because um, these baseboards are getting put down and there's no touch-up lines, there's no caulking, there's none of that because this is raw wood going on to painted surface. So I have to be extra careful. So if you're going to be doing a rough cedar baseboard or any of that kind of stuff, you can caulk the corners and put a backfill line on them. But I don't think it looks as good. Um, and it's easy, so like in this corner for example, there's quite a bit of damage in that corner just because of the way I overlap that other stuff. But every bit of that damage is under six inches tall, or actually under five and a half inches tall because a one by six is actually five and a half. It's under that damage line. So all of that damage is gonna be covered up once I put a board on it. So it's all in how you think before you go into a process of what to do. So if you haven't ever done baseboards and if you have no interest in this, I just thought I'd mention it in case anybody out there is watching. This goes for everything, door cases, crown molding, everything. If you're removing stuff and you're going to be putting it back up without taking off the substrate, it helps to do a little bit of planning before you get into it because I won't have to do any repair. All of this stuff is going to be hidden. But when you go to a big box store to select your wood, it pays, it pays to take time and look through. You feel like the weird guy that's over there looking at every board, but it pays in the end because you can find some really cool ones. The majority of them are garbage and they shouldn't even be on the shelf. They've got cracks, they've got, I've seen, I've seen boards that literally have knots the entire width of the board. That board's not going to last probably the truck ride home, much less anything else, but people buy these and they just don't know. But if you look through, you can find some very 
cool ones. And I found one of the coolest cedar boards I have ever found at a big box store. Check this thing out. The grain on this. So you could tell we had, this is a cedar board that had branches coming out each side, but we have such a cool cross section. This is such a pretty board. It's got a rough edge down here, which is why it probably got graded to send to Lowe's instead of a nice lumber shop because this grain is just so pretty. I'm sorry I'm nerding, about, <laughs> nerding out about the board, but I'm going to put that board under the window that full length because that one, there's not really going to be anything sitting there. So that's kind of our piece over there. The seamed board is going to go back here because the desk is going to be here. There's going to be cords and tables and all that stuff. So we won't really see down there. Over here, there's probably going to be a couch. So we're not going to see a whole lot of that stuff. So the seam is going to go right in the middle because it'll be, something will be there. So then it won't be seen. So also goes careful planning when you're working with raw wood like this can help you hide seams that would otherwise be really ugly if they were in the middle of the room. So um, I also realized <laughs> that uh, I got really lucky um, because I didn't buy enough wood because it was late and I was really tired. I literally was the last guy in the store last night before we drove back after moving all day. But I actually have, for some reason, I have one extra, <laughs> one extra board from something else, so thank you, Lord. Maybe this won't be as fast because I could get that out. We're gonna do it. I know that was kind of a long tangent there about, you know, thinking about things before you do them, but after remodeling and flipping two houses and building a house, I'd love to pass on some of the knowledge that I've garnered over the course of time, <laughs> trying to make sure you guys don't do things that I did, or at least learn from the ways that I did. Um, that's It really is something that is vastly important, and that's just making sure you plan adequately before you start doing something. But I got all the baseboards in and the cedar looked awesome. I was super happy with it. And I got the office cleaned up and started getting things in. So at least on Monday, I could maybe, just maybe, get a few things done for my Dave job. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Josie with Hurley Films. Ready to go. Or you just know cheese. Yes, cheese. <laughs> hey, everybody, what's up? This is Adam with Hurley Films, and this is... What's your name, little girl? Josie. <laughs> Josie. And we just dropped Bubba off at school, and we have got to go get our mailbox done, right? Yeah. So I've got a helper, and we're going to go down and see if we can get this done before I need to start working today. we got about an hour before 9 o'clock, and we got some boxes to dump and some other stuff. You ready to go, Joe? Yeah, but uh, I already have one of those. Yeah. But it has a color in one, too. Mm -hmm. Two things. A one has two, we can do one and the 
a different spot and a coloring one on the other side to color on the little polka dots to color shopping. But hurry, I did it. On the other, on the coloring one, and did the painting on the coloring one. It looks so cool. Anything else? No. <laughs> okay, you ready to go? Yeah. This is the third day that we've been living here officially. And, uh, yeah, we've... I've tried to order a couple things off of Amazon, which amazingly enough, um, they actually got delivered out here. But as you saw, we set a post, but I, I have not had the time to actually put this mailbox in. So today, because I know we've got a couple more deliveries coming, this is going to be interesting. Now we got deliveries, and I started to change our mailing address and stuff like that. So need to get this put in because the post office they're starting just to leave things at the post <laughs> it's not it's not good it's not gonna work so we need to get this in oh gosh all right time to set the camera down right here is that the way you're gonna sit yeah are you a cat no is that where you're gonna sit okay where are we going first to the dump we're gonna go to the dump then what the That's right. Whatever it is that I'm saying at this point isn't important. I just wanted to point out Josie planking behind me. As you can see, right there, that's what it's been like for about three or four days. So I think we need to, uh, I think we need to get things taken care of because, like I said, they literally put the package yesterday just at the base of the pole. The one, the white face is the Halloween. Cow. What'd you say? Um, do you know the one with the white face is a Halloween one? A Halloween cow? Yeah, that Which one. Which one? This one right here? That one. That one? With the white face. Because him looks scary. <laughs> she looks scary? Yeah. Which one's your favorite cow out here? Brown ones. You like the brown cows? Yeah. Oh, um, that was one us, me, us, Come in. We gotta go to the Our box fell out again. All right, I gotta go get it. Tell you this much, folks. They don't say where the wind comes sweeping down the plains for no reason. Oklahoma winds, they'll get you. Okay. We're here. Careful. Ready, jump. Good job. Okay. What do you got there? Let me see. Oh, did we pick some daffodils for mommy? Mm-hmm. All right. Gotcha. Arrgh. Okay, let's go in there and give them to her. I just pulled the vases out and thought, we're not gonna have flowers for a long time. So I'm gonna put these right up here. Thanks, Josie. Go get them in the vase so they okay. stay alive. Get... I was just thinking I should leave one of these vases out for when the kids bring me random flowers. Okay, ready? Ooh, woo, look how pretty. Thank you. Give me a hug. Aww. Let's go get in the car and let's go do the mailbox, okay? Okay. All right. What'd you say? This is a dinosaur tooth. Dinosaur tooth? Wow. That's crazy. Okay, what are we going to work on right now? The, the mailbox. Well, what do you think we have to do? Um, we already have a stick, so we don't need a stick. Uh-huh. We don't need a stick to this from the barn to the audience. Have a pink one right here. 
So we're just gonna do a little house. Yeah. So do we put it all the way up there? A little box. Do we put it on the very top up there? No. What are we gonna? Do we have to cut this first, right here? Uh huh. Okay, let's do that first. It seems like it's more rare these days that we get to actually spend time with just one kid by themselves and get to kind of see their personality and just spend the quality time where they get to have your full attention. And I hadn't done this with Joe in a long time and it felt awesome to do it. I love getting to spend time with her. She has such a fun, mature personality, shall I say. Yeah, baby. Get into the camera and say, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Josie was an excellent helper, and she stayed with me, I mean, the entire time. Didn't wander away. She had her own hammer, and she banged on the dirt and on the wood and on other things and adjusted the camera every now and then. Um, it it was great. I, I love getting to spend time with her and reassure her how awesome and beautiful she is all the time. Because she is. All right, there it is. Our mailbox is officially in. Got a little flag for when we're ready for mail. We got the big one, so if you get packages or something, you know, you can, they can fit them in. I got to go get three more screws and some washers because the inside holes on that are pretty big. And I had the best helper today. Give me thumbs up, Joe. Yeah, baby. Say, yeah, baby. Yeah, It's about 15 after 9. So we got that done. Another thing off the list. It's going to be a great day. Hope you guys uh, are doing well. Let us know how you're doing down in the comments below. And uh, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Just say, see you on the next video. See you on the next video. Like Joe said, like, comment, and subscribe, all that stuff. And we got the fireplace going for the first time. And my dad always would say when he gets to this point, that is a good cooking fire.